This video was also taken on September the 15th. This video is about Manzanar, the Jap Japanese encampment. It's a very moving place and quite sad. But I hope you like the video. Here it is. I am a 71-year-old woman who loves to camp and travel. Most of the time, I take my little schnauzer sneakers with me. I belong to four lady camp groups, and one I started in my area. One of the reasons we bought the Mini Winnie was so I could go more on my own, or with my lady camper groups. My channel, Crafty Traveler, isn't only about crafting, it's about being crafty smart. When traveling, camping, quilting, and doing crafts. Manzanar is the site of one of 10 American concentration camps where more than 120,000 Japanese Americans were incarcerated during World War II from March of 1942 to November 1945. Manzanar is located at the foot of the Sierra Nevada Mountains in California Owens Valley between the towns of Lone Pine to the south and Independence to the north, approximately 230 miles north of LA just off Highway 395. We're here at Manzanar National Historic Site. This is the site of the Japanese encampment that the people were put in during World War II and they were all American. Icon of confinement from 1942 to 1945, eight U.S. Army guard towers loomed over the more than 11,000 Japanese Americans held in Manzanar. Manzanar MP's view of Manzanar. This picture was taken in 1944 and the tower that actually stands here is a replica of what was there. But all the story is true. The tower 40 feet above the ground, U.S. Army military police watched the barbed wire fence of Manzanar with orders to apprehend and arrest any Japanese Americans leaving without authority using such force as necessary. One of the atrocities of our government. Welcome to Manzanar, his National Historic Site, Explorers Layers of History. Throughout human history, water drew people to this arid land in the shadow of Mount Williamson. Paiutes and descendants of homesteaders, ranchers, farmers still live in the valley. Some Japanese Americans lead a pilgrimage here every year on the last Saturday of April. Congress established Manzanar National Historic Site on March 3, 1992. This was one square mile of land is layered with several distinct areas of human history tangible place to explore intangible concepts such as power, subjugation, and love and hate, loyalty and disloyalty, justice and injustice. There is a three and a half mile loop from sunrise to sunset daily self-guiding tours.
Kennedy's living room. This auditorium is one of three original buildings remaining here for Manzanar War Relocation Center. As you walk closer, listen for laughter, tears, music, sounds of celebration and sadness that went to echo through this building. Cornerstone 1944, original cornerstone from the Manzan Auditorium dedicated on February 12th, 1944. The United States government ordered over 110,000 men, women, and children to leave their homes and detain them in concentration style camps. Two thirds of these were born in America. No one was convicted of sabotage or espionage. For 10,000 of them, Manzanar would be their new home. There's some artifacts and pictures. Finally, two weeks after his re-election in 1944, President Franklin Delano Roosevelt publicly confronted the legality of relocating Japanese Americans. Seven days after the U.S. announced its decision to relocate all people of Japanese ancestry, West Coast Canada passed order in 
1486, which authorized the relocation of every person of the Japanese race. And then they had to start over. When one teenager at Mazinar thought about life after camp and going back to the public schools with convocation, she got butterflies in her stomach. Yeah, she was probably just nauseated. gentleman was from Georgia, a long way from California, and he volunteered for the military intelligence service soon after Pearl Harbor. Remember his sister so that his bro older brother wouldn't be called. Sato's visit to Manzanar in May of 1943 was the last time he would see his family. One year later, Private First Class shipped out as part of an early wave of replacements for the hard-hitting all Nelson 100th Infantry Battalion. Attached to a company, Sato fought multiple battles up to the point, the boot of Italy. Can I bring my pet? The army would not let you bring your pet to the camp. Seven-year-old girl wrote, We left our dog with a friend at the house. His name is Snooky. toy loaning center where the children could go and borrow toys and then they had to return them. There were weddings, births, deaths, all here at Manzanar. The children's village. Social workers Harry and Lenny and Matsumoto managed the Japanese children's home in Los Angeles before the war. Initially, Lillian recalled the army thought that the children could be dispersed like the rest of the people. She and her husband encouraged the U.S. Army to build separate quarters for orphans, and the army agreed. So they brought orphans here.
Now we're pulling out away from the visitor center and we're going to drive around the three mile self-guided tour around Manzanar to see some of the buildings. This is one of the 36 blocks at Manzanar where Japanese Americans live. Now I am inside the building and they have these information boards. At least they were civilized with a sewing machine, but there's no electric. They must have had a foot pedal. Personal mail, Manzahar's mail service began in April 42 as a branch of the LA Post Office, 220 miles away. Block managers listen to all the complaints. Hear all the complaints and assume the responsibility of investigation. See that all cases are presented on the proper form to the administration with your recommendations. Yeah, were they able to do anything about those? They weren't given any authority to arrest or detain anybody. Harmony and Welfare of the Block. Dad spent most of the time running around the block and the camp tending to business of the day. He did a lot of social work. Whenever people had a problem, they'd come over and he would try to iron it out. Bridgie Shikamai, whose father was the manager of Block 17. That's what you call survival. Beginning in the summer of 42, the War Relocation Authority, WRA, hired Japanese American crews to install linoleum floors, hang sheetrock on the walls and ceilings. Oh, they finally got heat after a while. Sheetrock on the walls, housing improvements, full speed ahead. Housing improvements to go. Families and apartments. <laughs> I sure am not leaving America. For the Nissel family was insult to f forswear allegiance to Japan. Rose Hanawa recalled because assumed that you had allegiance to Japan. Still, she was among the five, five, 900 people at Manzanar who answered yes to the question 27. Here's the loyalty questionnaire. Question 27, if the opportunity arises itself, would you found qualify, would you be willing to volunteer for the harsh core of the WAAC? Do you swear disqualified allegiance to the United States of America and forswear any forms of allegiance Obedience to the Japanese premier. People ages 17 to 45 had to complete the army form. For many, the toughest question was 27, which asked whether a man was willing to volunteer for the army 
chapter 28, asking him to forswear any form of allegiance or obedience to the Japanese emperor was the question that could not affect his future. No, I said no, and I'm going to stick to the no. Explain in Hawaiian born Nisi, my wife and I lost $10,000 in that evacuation. That's not the American way. city later, but at first none. There are many more storyboards and buildings to see, but unfortunately I just don't have the time right now. I will have to return. On either side of this road, where barracks upon barracks upon barracks where the people lived. They put people in together that were strangers. The bathroom was one big bathroom with ten toilets and ten showers. Japanese people are very private and this was an insult to them and their culture. This is the area where the health clinic was and a few hospital beds. The Manzanar Cemetery is a sacred space, and every year, descendants of those who live there return in remembrance and to remember how they lived. A pillar has been placed in the cemetery as a symbol of remembrance. monument built by the Catholic Mason here in the cemetery and they do still do ceremonies here. I hope you learned some things and enjoyed this video about Manzanar Historical Site. We're leaving Manzanar now and we will head south on 395 to Lone Pine and the Alabama Hills to be in the next video.
Manzanar, to me, brought up a lot of emotion. Although I'm not Japanese and I had nothing to do with that, those people were taken from their homes and put in this encampment and other encampments around the United States. The majority of them were American citizens and none of them were ever convicted of espionage or sabotage. This is truly a tragedy in our government. We must learn about these places so it doesn't happen again. It's very sad. We have to keep it in our history. We have to teach our children about these places so they can help prevent it from happening again. And it could. If we don't stand up for our own citizens, who's going to stand up for us? I hope you liked and learned about Manzanar. Go there if you can. It's just south of Independence, California. It's worth taking the self-guided tour. So thank you very much for watching the whole video. Please give me a thumbs up. Comment, share, subscribe. Stay crafty, smart, creative, and safe. Thanks for watching.